call our line. You are born on the 8th of October. I, I see blood. Hello. Are you the one I mentioned on the 8th of October? Yes, please. I saw a terrible attack on your life. Who is Ayuku? Papa, I'm Ayuku. You are Ayuku. Listen, they have been fighting you all your life. Yes, yes, Papa. Three things they are fighting you on. The last one is the death. They've done the two. First one is that they said money should never stick in your hand. Exactly, Papa. Money should never stick in your hand. Listen. If any doctor diagnosed you or would diagnose you that you are you have low sperm count or impotency, never take drugs. Okay, Papa. We need to do a direction for you because if you take drug, it will complicate it. Yes, lately I noticed my my mouth is not working. Lately you notice your mouth is not working, right? Yes, Papa. But I'm scared to go to the hospital. You are scared to go to the hospital. Yes, Papa. And that is what I'm seeing right now. There is someone also watching me. You are dating your own father. You have been sleeping with your biological father for the past six years. Nobody knows. You are trying to stop, but you can't. Anytime you try to go to him and say, Daddy, I want us to stop. That is the day you guys do the worst. Hear me carefully. Come and see me. Let me help you. It's an abomination. It's an evil covenant. Your father was also abused by his mother. When your father was three years old, his mother fell in love with him. So he started pulling his mouth up to 12 years old. And then now he's also doing it to you. Your name has J in it. That is the best I can say for now because I want to save your image. Say the spirit of the living God, it must be broken. I see a serpent under you that is releasing some fluids as a result of what you are doing with your dad. You are feeding a spirit that rules in the family. Stop it. There is somebody watching me in your house. I see a white tile with some pattern of ash. Your TV unit is like a white and a pattern of wood. You use Samsung, a curved Samsung. The Samsung was bought for you by an authority in this country. Five days ago, you had an affair in a hotel around the Lombardi area. The man gave you a white handkerchief to wipe yourself. You've not seen the handkerchief again. Your future has been swapped with $3,800. That is the amount he gave you. You are happy, but the handkerchief is worth $3 billion. He's bad. The person I'm talking to you is an authority in a firm. The logo of the company is orange. He drives a Highlander. The wife drives a Sportage. You have slept with him 11 times. Three occasions he gave you white handkerchief. You declined in the two. But the last one, he was insistent. He used it. Try and call him. He will not pick again. He's done with you. Rush to my office tomorrow. Let me help you. Ah, there is somebody watching me. You have a visa, but the passport is missing. It's in your boyfriend's house. Go to Dansoman, Sahara. That's your boyfriend's place. Now, when you go, don't go to the room. Go behind the room. There's a container there. He has packed his books. He went to Legon. He did sociology. In a blue container, like, a, and he has covered it. Lift it. The books are about 23. There is a book, blue cover. Open it. It is in the 48th page. The guy doesn't want you to travel. As long as you take your passport, break up with him. He's a useless boy. Any man that does not support your progress is an enemy. Leave him. Go and take your passport and go. You're going to the UK to do your masters. He said he has never seen the passport. The passport is there. Go behind his house. He knows when he keeps it in the room, he will find it. Because you helped him fix his room. You go and clean his room. As young as you are, you have to go and clean a guy's room. Should it be? Hello? Man of God, please, what do you see? Write down this thing. PK clothing. PK wow. clothing. PK <gasps> clothing. Write it down. Hey. hey. Focus on clothing because you will have your clothing line. Hey. hey. You're 100% brutal. <laughs> okay. Because you do not have money, you started with boxer shorts, right? Hey. <laughs> Don't worry. That business will grow. I see myself in Turkey. A woman had gone to do an order, but when the man was writing the phone number, the man made a mistake with just one number. Instead of the man writing five, the man wrote four. The last number, it says five. The person wrote six, four. Hey! 
They will call you on 0550 484 Good morning, please. My name is Nanayo and I'm calling from Accra. Nanayo, Accra. Right? So, um, a friend of mine actually sent me the link okay. to join the prayer meeting I've, I've been facing some challenges um, recently in the past year a lot of things went on very badly i was very very suicidal i told her about it i was very suicidal this evening i uh, ashamedly i got some pills i was i was ready to just end everything so i texted her and i apologized that i was very sorry for everything and i just feel like my strength is not enough anymore i'm just i'm just tired of everything and immediately she sent me the link that i should join she wasn't even minding what i was saying she said i should join so when i joined for the first 15 minutes my hands was trembling so i just i just took the pill and i just threw it away and i continued following the prayer Hello. Hello, man of God. What do you see? Now listen to me carefully. God says I should tell you that your season has come. Okay? Amen. He has answered you and Esther. Okay. There are two people praying at the same time. Esther will come into your life as your twin sister. Esther has the same features that you have. In fact, Esther has a name mm -hmm. that nobody even know that you have. Okay. Maufemo. Yes, I'm Maufemo. <laughs> now, Esther's mother has your name. Sarah, S-A-R-A-H. Hey! <laughs> yes, I'm Sarah. Now, you guys are twins in the spirit. Okay. Now, you must meet to okay. seal and trigger the breakthrough into action. So the girl's boyfriend is called Buidi, and you also go Buidi. Uh, and this lady, she has the ideas to sell oil. Mm -hmm. She will sell the idea to you that you, both of you should become depot. Have depot okay. selling fried oil. Wow. <laughs> I used to work there, but um, something happened and I had to leave. Something happened you had to leave, right? Yes, please. I will take you to 2013. <sighs> Hey. Now the Esther will come back and you guys will start and you have okay. one of the biggest depots of, Amen. of fried oil. Amen. And you guys will start importing other oils. Okay. I will see cooking oil. Mm -hmm. I will see perfume oils. Wow. I will see olive oil. Everything okay. oil you guys will have. Mm -hmm. Large containers. The company will have a combination of Sarah and Esther. I will wow. see 12 containers, 45 containers being cleared every week. Okay. And you guys will do so well. Say the Amen. spirit of the living God. Amen. Be prayerful. Okay. And your life will never be the same again. Amen. This live broadcast is made possible by members of the Prophetic Force and by viewers and listeners like you. Kindly consider joining the Prophetic Force today by sending your name and message saying, I want to be a PFM to our official WhatsApp numbers 0552-522-622 or 0271-803000 and our team will give you a call. Thank you for holding our hands as we take the gospel to the world. God richly bless you. What's your name? Phyllis what? Phyllis Amanyakwa. Amanyakwa. And you? Phyllis Kofi. Phyllis Kofi. I'm looking for Phyllis Amanyako who knows somebody at Brema Esikuma. Papa, I'm the one. Oh. I have entered Brema Esikuma. I have met a young guy there. And he said, That is my sister. That is my sister. Pray for me. Do you know somebody there? 
O Fata Kadiba Hasubahaya O Fata Eguamba Oh Kum no O Fata O Fata Who is in Brahma Esukuma? Your brother, your twin brother, no, my little brother, your little brother. We have to pray for him because he is suffering than you. Papa, it's true. He's it's suffering true. than you. Now, the most dangerous thing in it is that somebody will try to lure him to go for money ritual in 2024. Now, there will be three friends that will go. They will go to a country that is a French-speaking country. They went there. When they go to the French-speaking country, they traveled about three hours into the jungle. Two of the friends returned, but this boy did not return. I see a coffin. They lied in the coffin. Two came back, but him did not come back. Ah, a man is praying for him. Seth is praying for him. Seth. Is, who is Seth? Huh? Who is Seth? Uh, Papa, please, the only Seth I know is my late father. The soul of a man is praying for him. I thought you would clap your hand for Jesus. Listen. You might think he's dead, but he's not dead. Your father is in heaven. And his soul is interceding for your son, for his son. Yeah. Ah, your father says, I told him to stay in Kofurudia. Why did he leave Kofurudia and went to Brahma Isukuma? Papa. We, we don't know. We don't know why he lies. My mother has tried. I have tried. Everybody has tried. He just insists on being there. He must stay in Koforudia. What is he doing in Brema Esikuma? A breakthrough is in Koforudia for him. Where is your mother? Koforudia. He's supposed to be in Koforudia. Look at, look, wow. Even you, very soon, you move to Koforidia. It's a very big decision. You will not go live there for life, but you go establish a school there in honor of your mother. Before your mother pass on to glory, a school must be established in her name because when your mother was seven years old a school keys was given to her instead of she building the school she decided to teach she is not a teacher she's a retired teacher that's correct now a school must be built in her name Ah, the school shall be called Rosina. Wow, Papa, that's my mother's name. It must be built in her name. Now listen, if you decide to say, I will do it, now your prayer request will be answered. Amen. Amen. Do you know why all your prayer requests have not been answered? Because no prophet had told you what you must do. There are things that you must do to be able to attract God's glory over your life. Until you do it, it will never come to pass. Hear me carefully. You must say in your heart, I will build that school for my mother. As soon as you do it, you will go. Because you, you, you must not be in this country. You must be in the UK. In a place called Luton. Wow. Luton. You must be in a place called Luton. Listen, your documents were prepared. At the dying minute, it was cancelled. Papa, it's true. It is very true. Prophecy. Why? Because the direction has not yet been done. Until we do that direction, it will not work. Hear me carefully. 
if you had said that two years ago, Anka will make sure you can. Because twice, twice you were supposed to go. Twice it never happened. Papa, it's true. Twice you were supposed to go. Twice it never happened. It's very true. The most serious part of it is that the second part, the second person had the ability to do it. He had all the resources to do it. But he would disappoint you. Because that thing must be done in Gophorudia. Until it is done, you and your brother will go through that pain. As soon as I do it, you will have an invitation. Amen. Amen. Oh. You have two years to live in this country. By your 37th birthday, you should not be in this country. How old are you? How old are you? Oh, please, I'm 35. This same man, through this same man, are you married? Papa, please, no. Through this same man, you will find a man in Luton. Amen. There's a guy who deals in spare parts that bears the same name of your helper. Find your helper. Your helper is Nana Ubri. Find him. That's my CEO. <laughs> Somebody has harmed you. Somebody has harmed you. Somebody has harmed you. Somebody has harmed you. This year has been from one disappointment to the other. If you tell me you are happy, I'll tell you a liar. As soon as you leave church, sorrow engulfs you. Obi Edubone. Somebody has spat on the contact of her helper. <laughs> this year, a man by the name Isaac Boatin, a man by the name Isaac Boatin was supposed to help you. Who is he? You don't know. Can you imagine? Isaac Boatin was supposed to help you. Isaac Boatin gave you his complimentary card. Where is it? Isaac Boatin of Chase Petroleum. Where is he? Uh, where is he? Where is the complimentary card? Is where? I don't know. He gave me a list and he gave me the number. You remember? It's a Chase complimentary card. Chase Petroleum. Huh? Chase Petroleum. Isaac Boate. You remember? Where is the complimentary card? You can't find it. It's not missing. It's in your passport.
the thing is in your passport. Where did you put it? You are wondering where you put it. How did I know? Mm. This man is your helper. He has been waiting. He has been waiting for your, your, an email from you. He has been waiting. He has been waiting. Go home. Find it. The card is even looking old. Old. It looks very old. I say, Boatin, a supervisor. Oh, Isaac dot Boatin at dot com. Send the email today when you go home. That's the email address I've given to you. Send it to him. He will respond. He will respond. If you want the numbers, I will give it to you tomorrow. Ah. Uh -huh. This is your helper. Somebody spat on it. That is the reason why you lost it. The man seeing you was not normal. The man is your helper. That is the reason why this year has been very tough. He might not help you directly, but through him, you meet other people. And through other people, you meet other people. And through other people, you meet other people. And that is how the year was supposed to be good for you. But I pray for you. Next year, 2024, yes. all what you could not have this year, yes. you will have it. Have you been sharing hair with somebody? Two people are wearing the same hair. You wear, she wears. You wear, she wears. And this is a spiritual being and a physical being. If care is not taken next year, latest September, you go mad. That is the reason why for no reason, sometimes your head aches abnormally. Yes, yes. Yes, you think it's overthinking. No, it's not overthinking. It's the weak on your head. Jesus. Are you sure that you don't share weak with anybody? <laughs> the weak behind the door, who wears it and who washes it? Behind the door. That's her wig. That's her wig. Yes, please. Work it. Work it. Hear me carefully. You have worn that wig without knowing you've worn the wig. You wore it on a Saturday. That wig has maggot in it. Not too long a wig, a short one that has a bit of brownish in it. Yes, please. Huh? Yes, please. Not too many brown, brown in the middle, small one like that. Yes, yes. You wore it. You wore the wig. You wore the wig. Okay. As I'm talking, the maggots have entered your hair and they are messing up your brain. The timeline is September 2024. You had a visa on the 1st of September and on the 12th when you are about boarding your flight you got mad at the airport Kutoka This live broadcast is made possible by members of the prophetic force and by viewers and listeners like you 
kindly consider joining the prophetic force today by sending your name and message saying, I want to be a PFM to our official WhatsApp numbers 0552-522-622 or 0271-803000 and our team will give you a call. Thank you for holding our hands as we take the gospel to the world. God richly bless you. Prophet Emmanuel Ajay is the founder and lead pastor of Prayer Palace Ministry International, headquartered on the Sphinctus Road in Accra, Ghana. He holds an honorary doctorate degree in Christian leadership from the United Graduate College and Seminary. He's also a recipient of the USA Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award for his immense contribution towards humanity. Prophet Emmanuel Ajay is also the founder and president of PEA Ministries, the evangelical wing of the ministry catering for crusade, feeding the 5,000 and various philanthropic activities. The ministry offers a balanced program to all partners, focusing on teaching, pastoral care, healing and deliverance. Prophet Emmanuel J is an end-time spirit-filled servant of God called and ordained into the apostolic office. The striking accuracies of his prophecy are evidence of the greatest mandate on his life. Psalm 139 verse 4 becomes tangible as he ministers in his prophetic office. Prophet Emmanuel J is the host of BTP Born to Prophesy conferences. BTP, formerly known as Jericho, has impacted more than 30 countries, including United States of America, United Kingdom, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, South Africa, Ivory Coast, and counting. In 2023, the Lord inspired him to launch an online prayer and prophetic service dubbed Prophesy, which streams daily on live television and several social media platforms. Prophesy reaches thousands of viewers daily and many are blessed and directed globally to fulfill their God-given purpose. Under his leadership, the ministry has experienced tremendous growth, culminating the completion of a 2,000-seater ultra-modern church, auditorium, and offices in less than two years. Prophet Emmanuel Ajay is married to Dr. Anik Ajay, and they are blessed with two lovely daughters. In the book of Matthew chapter number 10 verse 41, the Bible says, He who receive a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet reward. Ladies and gentlemen, with a standing ovation, a clap offering, an honor, shall we welcome our special guest of honor, Prophet Emmanuel Ajay. Good evening, precious one. God bless you so much for tuning in. It is early 11.30 p.m. GMT, and you are watching Prophesy chapter 277. And I believe that God is up to something again, extraordinary again. Wow. Uh, God is going to do something big. Wow. This is our test session for the day, right? We had a beautiful, beautiful evening session and we had a beautiful morning session, and this is the last uh, lap <laughs> for the day, and we continue tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not resting. We are not relenting until we see that the blessings of God over your life is established, and also until we see that whatever God has said concerning your life manifests in the physical. My name is Prophet Emmanuel J, and I give God all the praise for your life. Get ready to wage war and to fire missiles. Get ready.
get ready, call a friend, call a brother, call a sister, call a cousin, call an auntie, call a loved one, somebody that you want to, you want to be a blessing to. Now, the best thing to do is to tell the person, join online, and let us pray. Now, it's, ah, 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 why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? <laughs> why are you sleeping when the enemy is not asleep? Why are you resting when the miracle has not yet come? Why are you resting when you have to protect what God has given to you? You should pray. Prayer, prayer is a key. Prayer is a key to unlock the blessings of God over your life. My name is Prophet Emmanuel J, and we are streaming on the multiple platforms. I wanted to uh, tune in on any of our platforms right now and share the broadcast. Any of our online platforms and share the broadcast. We are privileged to stream live on Facebook. Facebook Prophet Emmanuel J on Facebook. So share us if you are watching us live on Facebook. Share us, double share, triple share. Tag somebody. I'm seeing people tagging others on their Facebook feed. Do that for me. Tag, tag them, tag them, tag them. Tag them until they go and click on the broadcast and watch, okay? So live on Facebook, Prophet Emmanuel J and Prayer Palace. Prophet Emmanuel J and Prayer Palace. And we are also streaming live on TikTok, Prophet underscore Emmanuel underscore AJ. And we are streaming also live on YouTube, Prophet Emmanuel AJ on YouTube. We are streaming live on Zoom. The Zoom ID is 265-904-5449. And the passcode is HELP. HELP is in capital letters, uh, 2023, HELP 2023. Now, you will type in quickly, do that for me. Do that for me right now, and God will surely, surely bless you. We are also streaming on multiple uh, radio stations across the nations of Ghana. And the first station is Goodness FM 96.3, Radio 360 90.1, uh, West FM 97.5, Global FM 105.1, Ultimate FM 106. Point nine. Now, it's a privilege for all those watching us and all those listening to us live on radio. And on traditional uh, TV station, we are streaming live on Purple TV and Green TV. God bless you so much. Now, if you are watching me, do me a favor by sharing me on your platform. Now, do it. Let's do it together. As soon as you share, tag me. Hala me shared. And let me recognize you. So I see Grace. Grace Osla says, shared. God bless you. Nana Ama Ando says, shared. God bless you. Uh, okay, Vivian Question says, good evening, Papa. Uh, good evening. God bless you. Right. Joseph says, shared. Now, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I believe. I believe that tonight is my night. That tonight is my night. I don't forget there's one scripture we've been using for some time now. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Hebrews 12, 24. Hebrews 12, 24. The potency and the speaking power of the blood. The potency and the speaking blood. The, the, the speaking power of the blood. The speaking power of the blood to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the and to the blood of the sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Listen, the blood is potent. This evening, I have the opportunity to explain to the church what the blood of Jesus does for us, and we stood on that scripture and prayed. Now, I will encourage you, if you do not watch or you are not in church, go to my feed and watch the evening session. You will love the teachings and you will love the prayers, okay? So quickly, go there and watch right after. Go and watch the evening session of the program. I took my time to explain the six benefits, I think six or seven benefits of the blood. Now, tonight, we are using the blood as a weapon. Are you understanding me? Yes. We are using the blood as a weapon. The blood is a weapon. 
The blood is a weapon. The blood is a weapon. We want to use the blood as a weapon to undertake a serious spiritual warfare. Shout, the blood is a weapon. The blood is a weapon. I want to hear a voice. Say, the blood is a weapon. The blood is a weapon. I know you are tired. You've been praying since morning. But hey, push last lap. Say, the blood is a weapon. The blood is a weapon. Say, the blood is a weapon. The blood is a weapon. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. Keep sharing me on your broadcast. Keep sharing me on your broadcast. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to five. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. Quickly, I want it on the screen for me. All right, let me read it from here. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. Verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but the mighty, but mighty in God for the pulling down of stronghold. Verse 5. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not canal. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not canal. And be ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Okay, so my first, the first thing I wanted to understand is that the weapons of our warfare are not canal. Right, so we are in a fight. We are in a fight. If you want to fight, Oh, you don't know, fight. There is a fight going on. All right. Life is war. Excuse me. Bless you so much for having patience, patience with us. Now, life is a war. Life is a war. If you want to fight or you don't want to fight, you are still in a fight. I keep telling people that when a child is born, it's good news. But a child does not laugh. The child rather cries. Why? The child has been introduced into his first stage of fight. <laughs> you war. You fight. You war. You fight because... I've done these teachings before. You are in a place where it is not yours. The earth is a lord, but this is a place designated for the devil. That is a lot, another time. We are just going through Walker Pass. Heaven is our destination. So the devil has realized that he's lost heaven, and the earth that belongs to him, as in where he was cast down to be punished, that place you are fighting over with him. And as a result of that, he will not be happy. He lost his position in heaven, and on the earth you are fighting with him to occupy the earth. The enemy is not happy. So there is a warfare going on. Are you understanding me? Yes. And the only way to fight the enemy, because the weapons of our warfare, they are not canal, is to open your mouth and pray. Because prayer is a weapon. Prayer is a weapon. Regular prayers overcome satanic on, on, onslaughts. Deliverance prayers for stubborn cases. Now, normal prayer will stop the enemy. Deliverance prayer will stop stubborn cases. And we overcome the devil by prayer and by the blood. Are you understanding me? Yes. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. So here you see, if you want to overcome the devil, you have to pray, invoking the blood of Jesus. 
Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. If you are tired, let somebody take over. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And overcame him. And overcame him. And overcame him by the blood and by the words of their testimony. So you see, overcoming the devil, you need two weapons. The blood and prayer. Opening your mouth. So when you want to overcome the devil, you don't pray that normal kind of prayer. If you want deliverance, you don't pray the normal kind of prayer. You pray prayers of deliverance. But if you want to overcome him, if you want to take charge over the devil, if you want to put the devil under subjection, if you want to make the devil your slave, if you want to overempower the devil, then you need the blood. Because the enemy is not afraid of you. He's afraid of the blood. Because he said, when I see the blood, I'll pass over. Even God, when he sees blood, he passes over. How much more the devil? The devil will not just pass over. He will run helter scatter. So it is imperative that when it comes to overcoming the devil, some prayer must go up. Some directions of the blood must go up. We must invoke the blood over our lives. We must invoke the blood against the devil because the devil lost the battle over 6,000 years ago because of the blood. Have you forgotten? The devil stood against Jesus on the mountain and he said, bow before me and I'll give you everything. He lost the battle. On the cross, he had wanted Jesus to back off because Jesus saw the, the, saw the cross and said, Master, I wish, Father, I wish this cup would pass over me. I am sure at that moment, there was a lot of confusion in his head. Should I die? Should I not die? If he had not died, the devil would have won. But he went ahead to die on the cross. He went through disgrace. He went through shame. He went through pain just because of you and I so that he will overcome the devil. And lo and behold, he overcame the devil. So if Jesus overcame the devil, what made him overcome the devil? Is it his personality? No, it is his blood. The blood that touched on Golgotha, as the blood touched on the floor, the devil's power was broken over his life. In the same way as a Christian, if you want to overcome the devil, then some prayers must go up. And the application of the blood, the invocation of the blood, the usage of the blood, the speaking out of the blood will overcome the devil. I speak in the name of Jesus. Yes. That as we lift the prayer tonight, uh, receive the power to overcome the devil. Receive, receive the power to overcome the devil. Receive, receive the power to overcome the devil. Receive the power to overcome the devil. Say, devil, you shall back off now. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and shall power. Lift up your voice and shall power. Say, I shall overcome you. Say, devil, devil, back up, back up. Nah. Nah. by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Lift up this communion. Ah. Lift up the communion quickly. We are starting the prayers with a communion service. We are starting the prayers with a communion service. Lift up the communion. Yes. Yeah. Now, Revelation chapter 12. The scripture we read was that. What did he say? Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. The scripture we, wrote, we read, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamp. Did this that? So you cannot go before the enemies come to overcome him with your own strength. You overcome him by the blood. Yes. So we are going to apply the blood right now. Yes. Right after the application of the blood, you are receiving power oh. to overcome the devil. Yes. Now, as you open your mouth and pray, oh. miracles will start happening. Amen. Your arm is sick of Ebola. Amen. I said miracles will start happening. Amen. Miracles will start happening. Amen. 
miracles will start happening. Amen. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. Shall tonight. Tonight. As I apply the blood of Jesus. As I apply the blood of Jesus. I overcome the devil. I overcome the devil. Shall I overcome the devil. I overcome the devil. By the application of the blood. By the application of the blood. Lift your communion. Ah. Father. I sanctify every communion. Yes, Lord. As we perform this prophetic direction, yes. get your communion wherever you find yourself. I speak that the blood of Jesus shall go ahead and fight and give us victory over the devil. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I call it done. Amen. Amen. Quickly, you can take your bread. All right, eat the bread. And drink. If you don't have bread, it's fine, okay? You can still do the communion alone. The communion only, come, sorry. After the prayers, we'll do another, bar, another round of communion. So, don't drink all your communion. <laughs> Somebody's done with his communion. <laughs> it is not tea. Kadeba deba do shadaba hatabadaya. Now, if you are lying, be on your feet. Kadabaya. If you are lying, sit up. Sit up. It is time to fire missiles. Sit up. We overcame the devil by the blood. Now we have. Perform the direction of the blood. Let us now get into the camp of the enemy as we invoke the blood. Mm. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus. I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus. And I proclaim. And I proclaim. Victory over sin. Now, please say it right after me because we are going to enter into serious fight. So, we have to get ready. Say, in the name of Jesus, I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus to proclaim victory over sin. Say, I proclaim victory. Say, I proclaim victory over sin. Shall I proclaim victory? Over sin. over sin. Say the desire to sin. The desire to sin. Today, Today, on this holy altar, on this holy altar I, proclaim victory I proclaim victory over you. Over you. Over you. Shall I proclaim victory over sin? Say, I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus and I proclaim victory over sin right now, right now, right now, right now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Proclaim victory. Proclaim victory over sin. Proclaim victory over sin. Sin, go ahead, proclaim victory over sin. Proclaim it, proclaim it, victory over sin. Proclaim victory, victory over masturbation, victory over alcohol, victory. Over pornography, I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus and I proclaim victory over lies, victory over gossip, 
victory over false witness. Lift your voice and declare. Declare victory by the application of the blood. I declare victory over sin, over sin. In the name of Jesus, I kill the desire to sin. I kill the desire to fall into sin. Father, I declare the ability to be righteous. The ability to be righteous. Lift your voice. Victory, victory. Declare victory over sin. Victory over sin. Father, I declare that righteousness shall be my food. Righteousness shall be with me. Ragadimaha, Ragada, 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 Hoyata. In the name of Jesus, shall I shall overcome. I shall overcome the devil, the devil. By, the by the blood. Say, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. I overcome Satan. I overcome Say, I overcome Satan. I overcome Satan. By, the by the blood of Jesus. Say, I overcome Satan. I overcome Satan. By the blood of Jesus. No! Now, what we are praying about now is very serious. Mm. I apply the blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem in my life. Oh. Now, don't forget, we are overcoming the, the we are overcoming the devil with the blood, mm. using the blood as a weapon. Yes. Did you hear that? Yes. Using the blood as a weapon. Oh. Second Corinthians says we are in a fight, and. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 says, we only overcome it when we are fighting by the blood. Ah. So we are invoking and applying the blood tonight. Yes. You cannot be quiet. Ah. Listen, he has given it to us for free. Yes. We did not pay for it. Ah. We did not buy. Ah. Listen, every country has its major budget ah. for ammunition. Mm. America, mm. Europe, Asia, most of the, the budgets, okay, the big chunk of the budget goes to ammunition. Mm. Security is very expensive. Ah. But Jesus gave us the weapon of the blood for free. Ah. And you are quiet. Ah. You are quiet. Hey. You want to spend millions of dollars to protect yourself. Ah. Even with that, it's not guaranteed. Mm. But the blood is guaranteed. Yeah. I said the blood is guaranteed. Yeah. Say, I apply the blood of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus. To Every stubborn, problem. stubborn problem in my life. In my life. Now, now, say I apply, I apply the, blood the blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem, every stubborn problem. In, my in my life. You stubborn problem, you stubborn problem. Disappear. disappear now. now. Listen, there are problems that are stubborn. Mm. You will fast, they will not move. Ah. You will give an offering, they will not move. Ah. You will go to church, they will not move. Ah. You have prayed, you have fasted, you've done all the direction, but the situation is still there. Ah. The situation is looking at your face, mm. eyeball to eyeball, ah. mouth to mouth, nose to nose, chest to chest, mm. it is not moving. Hey. Today, yes. you are the Yes. If you want to overcome the devil, you need the blood. I said to you, I said to you, I said, if you want to overcome the devil, the normal prayers, okay, fight him in a certain way, but overcoming him, overcoming him. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish there was somebody I can use for an example. Poor come, poor come, poor come, come, bada, 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 bada. Now watch me carefully. Now stand, stand, stand. Now stand. Can I have the camera here? Come closer. Now watch me carefully. Uh huh. This is Paul. All right. Now, I hate you. Hit me back. I hate you. Hit me back. We are in a fight. I have not overcome him. We are fighting. I can win him. It is not talking about overcoming. Overcoming means putting him under my under subjection. 
putting him like a slave. So now, if I want to overcome him, go down, and I want to take charge, you see where it is? I put my legs on him. I overcome. Now he, he is not active again. I have killed his potency. I have killed his power. I have killed his ability. Now scream, scream, scream there. So he's screaming. Now go down. He's screaming. He cannot do anything. There is nothing he can do. Are you understanding me? Yes. That means I have overcome him. Yes. I cannot overcome him by just beating him uh. and speaking in tongues. I need to apply the blood. Yes. Now, I don't want to just fight the devil and tell the devil to back off. I want to kill him. Yes. I want to put him under subjection. Uh, I want to make him impotent. Uh, I want to make him irrelevant. Yeah. I want to put him in a cage. Uh, I don't want him to come close to me. Uh, and the only way is to use the blood. Uh, Shot in the, in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood. To every stubborn problem, to every stubborn problem. In, my life, in my life and in my family. And in my family. Now! Wow. 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 Your husband is misbehaving. You have done everything possible. The more you pray, the more your husband beats you. It's a stubborn problem. You are in a problem where you have a deadline. If care is not taken, a big disgrace will come to you. Um, that is a stubborn problem. Yes. What you need is to touch it back ah. with the blood. Mm. Just apply the blood. Just apply the blood. Yes. Just apply the blood. Yes. Listen, listen, there is a blood that speaks better. Ah. Ha! Ah. Hebrews said it. Hebrews 12, 24. He said there is a blood that speaks better. Mm. It speaks better than animals. Speak better than goose. Speak better than goat. It speaks better things than Abel. Oh, Are you understanding me? Yeah. There is a blood. Yeah. There is a blood. Yeah. Lift up your right hands. Yeah. I'm charging, I'm charging. The thing is getting hotter. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. To every stubborn problem. To every stubborn problem. In my life. In my life. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Say, I apply. I apply. The blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem in my life as I clap my hands, I declare disappear, 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 disappear. Clap your hands and fire, fire. Wherever you find yourself. Apply the blood. Don't be quiet. Apply the blood. Overcome him. Overcome the stop of problem. Iyakadabaya. Rada da 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 da. Poya. 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 Apply the blood to the problem. Overcome the problem. The problem that has been with you for seven years, eight years, ten years, twenty years. Overcome it. Overcome it. Now. The devil is a liar. Overcome it. Now. 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 Yes. Kadabalaba. Radadadala. Radadada. Radadada. Yakaba. Oyata. In the name of Jesus, shot I shall overcome. Shot I shall overcome. Shot I shall overcome. Let the altar burn with fire. Shot I shall overcome. Let fire drop in the studio. Shot I shall overcome. Wherever you are, let the Holy Ghost enter there. Shot I shall overcome. Say I am an overcomer because of the blood. Ah! Now the next prayer point. I soak myself in the blood. Yes. Now, when you soak yourself in the blood, automatically you become an overcomer. Yes. 
Because the enemy is afraid of blood. Mm. Are you understanding me? Yes. Even God himself, mm. even God himself, wow. he said it. When I see the blood, I will not come into that house. Wow. Even God, when he sees the blood, he cannot do wow. anything. Are you understanding me? Yes. God respects blood. The enemy is afraid of blood. Yes. So you soak yourself in the blood. You are untouchable. You are unshakable. You are unmovable. The devil stays very far from you. Very far from you. You must soak yourself in the blood. Yes. Soak your head in the blood. Yes. Soak your hand in the blood of Jesus. Soak your children in the blood. Wow. Soak your business in the blood of wow. Jesus. Soak it. Shout, I will soak it. I will soak it. People do rituals. People go to the beach and they wash themselves with, 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 with sea water. And they say we have protection. What kind of protection is that? People, they, people go to go as far as India, go to the beach, go to shrines, and they give them concussion. And they say, wash yourself in the morning, wash yourself in the evening, and then nobody will kill you. Some receive rings and they put on their finger. And once the flight is going, and then you feel that the thing is, 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 is squeezing your finger, that means you get down from the car. What if you're in the plane? Will you tell the pilot, I'm coming off? So you see, the protection of the enemy is not guaranteed. But listen, the protection of God. If they are going to wash themselves with concussions, with, 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 with sea water, we are also soaking ourselves in the blood. Yes. Now get your communion wine quickly. Get your communion wine. Pour a little in your hand and drop it on your forehead. A little in your hand and drop it on your forehead. Quickly do that for me. Just a little. Good. Now, quickly. On your forehead. Do that for me. Have you done that? Yes. Have you done that? Yes. Now you are soaking yourself. Yes. You are soaking yourself. Do you understand? Yes. You are soaking yourself in the blood. Yes. Precious one. The way things are getting rough and people are dying like something. You wake up in the morning, somebody's dead. Every day, someone is gone. Precious one, soak yourself so that the spirit of death will stay very far from your home. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I soak myself. I soak myself. I soak my life. I soak my life. In the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Let me louder say, I soak my life. I soak my life. In the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I soak myself. As I soak myself. In the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. The enemy. Can never get close to me. I, close. I, am I am untouchable. Lift your voice and begin a prayer. Lift your voice and begin a prayer. Soak yourself. Soak yourself. Soak yourself. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Da, da, da. 
Kayaba, Kayaba, Ayapa, Toliba, clap your hands, pray, shoot the prayer, Ayabata, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body, from the top of my head to the soles, sole of my feet. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body, from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. Say, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus on my body. Let every sickness in my body disappear now. Now watch me. Uh, we overcame the devil by the blood. Yes. You are pleading the blood on your body. Yes. If there's any sickness, it's going to disappear. Amen. I said to you tonight, it's going to be healing. God is going to heal a lot of people. Amen. A lot of people are going to be healed. Amen. Now as we are praying this prayer, yes. check where you are sick. Uh, because the blood of Jesus that we are going to plead on your head, down to the sole of your feet, it's going to bring you instant healing. Amen. Instant healing. Amen. Instant healing. Amen. Shout instant healing. Instant healing. Lift up your hands again. Yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. Yes. Word of God. Yes. Now say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Of Jesus, of Jesus over my life, over my, life, over my, body, over my body, from the head, from the head of, my body, of my body, down to the soul, down to the soul of, my feet. of my feet. Let every sickness, Let every sickness in, my body, in my body disappear, disappear because, of the because of the blood. Shall disappear, disappear. shall disappear, disappear because of the blood. Mamekuya, you are a nurse. Mamekuya, you are a nurse. You have a connection with Asen Gregoire. You have a connection with Asen Gregoire. I don't know whether you went to school there or you lived there before. Asen Gregoire. Mamekuya, you are a nurse. Mamekuya, you are a nurse. There's a connection in Asen Gregoire. I see that one of your shoes is buried at Asen Gregoire. They've buried one pair of your shoe at Asen Gregoire. Until we bring it to where you are, things are not going to be easy for you. We have to do it now. Mami Ekuya, Asen Gregoire. You are a nurse. I cannot miss this one. Call me right now. 0531-102233. Mami Yukuya, that is your name. Lift up your hands. Yes. Say, in the, in the name of Jesus. My father, my father. My father, my father. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. On my body. On my body. Shall I plead the blood of Jesus? I plead the blood of Jesus. On my body. On my body. And I declare. And I I declare, I declare from, the top of my head from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. I declare, I declare let, every let every sickness disappear in my body. In my body. Lift up your voice and we get a prayer. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer.
Yakadi. I plead the blood from the top of my head down to the sole of my feet. I plead the blood. I plead the blood on my body, on my chest, at my back. I plead the blood all over me, all over me. I plead the blood on every joint of my body. I plead the blood on my knee. I plead it in my ears. I plead on my eyes. I will see clear. Yes, Lord. I plead the blood. I plead the blood on my tummy, in my intestines, in my lungs. I plead the blood on my chest. In the name of Jesus. Father, let every sickness disappear. Disappear, 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 disappear. Ragadagada, 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 ragadagada. Listen, I see healing all over the place. I repeat, I see healing all over the place. I see healing all over the place. If you are sick in any part of your body, receive healing right now. I said receive healing right now. Receive healing right now. I curse sickness out of your life. I curse sickness out of your family. Any sickness implanted in your life by the devil. Hello. I declare flush out. Flush out. Flush out. Flat out. Flush out. Hello. 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 Oh, it went off. Now lift up your hands. Kadabaya. Yes. Makia siata. Add this number. Let me see. Plus one. Five one zero. Four zero eight. Yeah. Hello. Eight one two eight. I'm seeing right now plus one five one zero four zero eight eight one two eight. Ask the person if he knows somebody in California. California. Hello. Yeah, hello. Prophet. Yes. yes. Please, this is Mami Kwa. All right, Mami Kwa, right? Yes, please. Is that your, is that your, are you the person I, I mentioned? Yes, please. You, I am a nurse. You are a nurse. Don't, 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 don't. Yes, don't, please. Don't shake, don't shake. I'll handle your case, okay? Don't, I, I can say okay. you are panting. Relax, relax. God has remembered you. There are thousands of people okay. on this line. God picked your case. You are blessed. Amen. Okay, good. You are mommy, a queer. Yes, please. Good. Are you a nurse? Yes, please. Do you know anybody from Asenkrugwa? That's where I went to school. That's where you went to school? Yes. Did you lose any slippers or any shoe when you were in school? Yes. When, one, during one of our vacations, when I came back, I left my shoes on campus, and when I came back, I couldn't find it. You couldn't find and it? And a uniform, too, Yes. Why didn't you ask where it was? <laughs> I actually asked, but nobody gave me an answer, so I just stopped talking about it. Listen, they buried it. It has been buried. Somebody who doesn't like you deliberately buried it. The name starts with an M. An M, an N okay. with an N. With an N. That person okay. buried, buried, buried. The person buried the slit, the shoes. What I'm seeing is the shoe. It was buried. 
that will fight okay. your stability. So wherever you okay. go in life, you can never advance. So a particular okay. dream will keep repeating in your life. You will see yourself either in the village or your former school. Because in the realm yes, of... Yes, please. Talk to me, right? Yes, please. What do you see in your I dream? Normally, I normally dream of being in my former secondary school or my primary school. Good. Or where we used to stay Good. when I was a child. Good. Yeah. This must happen. Because in the realm of the spirit, when it was buried, you must not advance in life. Your advancement okay. has been tempered with. So spiritually, you Jesus. think you have graduated. You are in school, but you're not in school. You are, you are, I think you think you are working, but you're not working. Are you understanding me? You are back. Yes, please. They have even monitored you when you were at Bechim. Bechim Government Hospital. Yes, yes, that's where I work. That's where you work, Bechim. So in your mind, I am at yes, Bechim, but you're not in Bechim. You are in Asankrikwa. Jesus. You are Asankrikwa. You can never advance. You can never advance. You can never, ever, ever advance. As you keep moving ahead, they will pull you back. Jesus. And this is a collaboration. This is a collaboration with people from Winneba. Hmm. Put your hands on your head for me. Can I help you? Yes, please. Put your hands on it. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I set my soul free. I set my soul free. Because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus. I declare today. I declare today. As we do the blood direction. As we do the blood direction. And pray about the blood of Jesus. And pray about the blood of Jesus. And pray with the blood of Jesus. And pray with the blood of Jesus. I set my soul free. I set my soul free. Whoever buried my shoe. Whoever buried my shoe. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. Now I declare I am free. Now I declare I am free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Can you can you help do something for me? Pour yes, a little please. communion in water and wash your feet now. As soon as you wash your Prophet, feet. Prophet, please. I don't have communion wine with me now. Why, why are you? I'm in the house. You don't have communion at home? Yes, please. No problem. Just buy some tomorrow. Pour it in water. Okay. And wash your leg. It yes. is settled. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you excited that God has remembered you? Yes, please. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Now the next prayer point... I, I applied the blood of Jesus as a weapon to stop every device of destruction. Ah. By the blood of Jesus, I stand against every device of destruction. Can we do that? Yes. Can we do that? Yes. Ah, I saw healing. Amen. Now, if you are sick in any part of your body, mm. put your hands there now. Yes. Put your hands there. Daddy says, I shall hold on because he has sent forth angels and the healing balm into homes. Let every sickness in your life disappear. Now. Now. Let every sickness Disappear Amen. now. Yes. Kadaba dabaya. I command headache. Go. I command migraine. Go. I command neck problem. Go. I command chest chest problem. Go. I command back problem. Go. The pain in your waist. I command it. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the pain on your knee. Yes. Now, come out. Come out. Yeah. There's someone who has foot rot. Foot rot. Foot rot. I see God healing you Amen. from that foot rot. Amen. Now, come out. Amen. I curse you to the root. Yes. There is somebody who has 
this sickness that, that, that had Jesus Christ. It has affected your balance or your balancing. When you are walking, it, it, it throws you to the left and throws you to the right. For no reason, you slip and you fall. Listen, I cast that demon. Amen. I cast that demon. Amen. Daddy just spoke to me. Yes. There is somebody with mouth order. You've tried everything possible. It's not going. Now, now, now. Come out. Amen. I command that demon to leave you now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is somebody, there is a particular bed that cries at the back of your window. Strange hours, the bed will come. It cries like a bed and cries like a human being. Yeah. I command that demon to leave that house. Amen. Come out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I see a snake under, under a bed of somebody. You took the snake from Togo. They gave you the snake in the pot. It's under your pillow. They have lied to you that the snake will vomit money. But up to now, the snake has not vomited money. Ah. And you cannot return the snake to the person involved in, 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 in Togo. And the thing to is fighting you and threatening you. And you don't know what to do. Hear me. Hear me carefully. The devil is a liar. The blood of Jesus is potent than the snake, than that snake under your bed. Ah. In the name of Jesus, contact me now. Let's help you. And remove that nonsense from the from under the bed. Katiba hakataya, rabadea, or better say, collect it and crush it and kill that snake. Nothing will happen to you. You have been deceived, and this will be a snare on your neck. The devil will put you under bondage because of the snake under your bed. The snake under your bed. I curse that devil. Amen. I break you free from that bondage. Amen. I say, I break you free from that bondage. Amen. There's this young lady also that you went to see a certain fetish priest for a writ for, for oh Jesus Christ. He gave you this concussion that will attract men. And gave you something to wipe your face. Please, this will, this will mess up your life. For you to know that I know what I'm talking about, the guy even slept with you. The fetish priest slept with you. And gave you that, that, that thing. And said, anybody you want him in your bed and to take money from. Say some incantations and some rituals. It has been working for you for some time now. But it, st it has stopped. Now listen, this will be a curse to you and your children. Your children and your children's children will pay for it. You want to stop it. But you don't know how and which man of God to trust. So you pray with us and pray with other platforms. Hoping that one day, your case will be mentioned. I have mentioned that case. Uh, thank you, Jesus. God wants to help you. God wants to help you. Amen. There's another person you bought this wig. The wig is behind your door. It has two colors. Black. And I don't know whether it's brown or, or tan. But it has two colors behind your door door, 16 inches. Anytime you wear that wig, your head aches. That wig is not a wig, it's snakes. Mm -hmm. These are snakes behind your door. Your spirit doesn't like it. That is the reason why anytime you wear, your head aches badly. Burn it. Take it off your house right now. Take it out. Get yourself kerosene, petrol, something, and burn it. Now, if you're afraid, bring it to me on Friday at War Zone. Let me deal with this problem once and for all. The devil is a liar. There's a pastor watching me right now. You have a key in your Bible, in the book of Psalms. There's a key in the Bible. Somebody gave it to you to have increase 
with numbers is there. You are waiting patiently for your church to grow. You have been deceived. The devil does not give free lunch. If you are not careful, it will wipe all your generation away. You have brought a curse to your family. You are a pastor. There is a key. And the key is in the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms. It's there. That is where the key is. The Bible is a black Bible. Please return that Bible. Return that Bible and return that key. Because you have brought a curse to yourself and to your children. God doesn't like it. God has given you the opportunity to return it. Otherwise, your future will be a mess. It will be a mess. Ah, there is another person watching me right now. You were a stammerer. You were not born like that. No. Something strange happened. And all of a sudden, you are losing your speech. Someone has given you apple to chew. And that apple has poisoned your throat. And has poisoned your speech. They want to mess you up. Come and see me. Friday, war zone. Wherever you find yourself. Even if you are at Axim or Tamale, borrow money and come. When you come, I will help you back to wherever you came from. I need to deliver you. You are a voice to this nation. You are a voice to this nation. We will not sit for your life to be a mess. You are a voice. They want to mess up your voice so that you will not amount to anything. Now, if anybody, ah, Jesus, if God has healed you, check for me. If God has healed you in any part of your body, call me now. Let me pick just two calls. Call me right now. Call me right now. Now, tonight we are back in church. We are back. 6 p.m. on the dot, we are having our Easter convention. It's happening off the Sprinters Road at Manet Junction. Off the Sprinters Road at Manet Junction. Kindly join us tonight, 6 p.m. on the dot. We close at 9.30. The time is 6 p.m., not 7 p.m., 6 p.m. on the dot. We start. And then by 9.30, we are out of the place so that we can come back and do the online prayers. Lift the communion wine. This is for protection. Lift the communion wine. Ha, ya, da, 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 da. Ha. After this, whoever takes you to the shrine, it shall not work. Amen. Lift it up. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I drink this blood, as I drink this blood, my body, my body is protected. Is protected against any attack of the enemy. Against any attack of the enemy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Drink it for me. Place your hand on your tummy. I demand healing in your system. I demand freedom from any demonic bondage. And I pray that you are free. If the Son of God shall set you free, you are free indeed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I have two minutes to go. If you have any testimony, call us right now. Or better still, send us a voice note or video message. Send it to us right now. And we'll play it. I think we have a powerful testimony of a lady. There's a lady I prophesied to online who usually chews her hair. She has been chewing her hair since 2006. She has been chewing her hair since 2006. Those of you who follow us, you remember I prophesied to a lady. So I asked her to come and see me. She said, ever since I prayed for her, she has not chewed her hair again. 
Read the testimony if it's there. Read it for me quickly. Papa, I am overwhelmed to share that God has granted me healing and deliverance. For 18 years, I struggle with the compulsion of chewing my own hair. Mm -hmm. But after following your instruction and prayers, I am free from this addiction. My case was addressed during Prophesied Life on February 20, 22, 2024. Following your guidance, fasting, prayers, and anointing Hello. oil. Hello. Get me a bottle of water quickly. I have it here, please. Pour a little on your head. I've done that, please. I'm grateful for this miraculous transformation. Thank you, Papa, for the prayers and support. I believe that just as God has delivered me from this bondage, my marital breakthrough is eminent. Blessing to you, Papa. May God continue and increase your grace upon your life. Now watch me. Do you have the video there? Now play the video, if it's possible. I, I like the double screen, if you can play it on the double screen. Is it possible? Oh, I need to go off. Okay, let me. Okay, listen. This is what God did. I prophesied to this young lady, and I said to her that she chose her own hair. She's addicted to chewing her hair. As a result of that, her hair should always go flat. And she said, ever since I prayed for her, by the grace of God, the appetite to chew her is gone. Now, get me the video. Hello? Hello? Get me a bottle of water, quickly. I have it here, please. Pour a little on your head. I've done that, please. Is your head Sakura? Yes, yes. There's, there's a little hair on my head. Iris. Aris, yes, who is Aris? Mean. That's a problem. They want to mess up your life. <laughs> There's an addiction that must be broken from your life. They don't want you to marry. They don't want you to stay in any man's house because this addiction is a dangerous one. Let me take you back to when you were nine years old. A certain demon came to kiss you. Now, when the spirit was leaving, you wanted to scream out. You were arrested on your bed. When you were about to speak, the spirit took your hair and placed in your mouth so you could not shout. Mm -hmm. He's suffocating you with your hair. Now, every time the spirit comes and he comes to rape you because he doesn't want you to see or to voice out and to even pray about it, he'll take your hair and put it in your mouth. Yes. Now, the thing has not translated to become physical. Yes, yes, yes. That you will cut your hair and you chew your own hair. Yes, man, talk to me, talk to me. That's true, that's true, that's true. It's highly demonic. Now, that is the reason why your hair is bad. Because if you have hair, you pull your own hair and you chew your hair. So you try as much as possible to keep your hair flat. And the spirit is molesting you. If you don't pray for you, you can never be free from this demon. You are under bondage. You are in under a curse. I, I, this Jesus Christ. Are your parents aware of this problem? Yes, please. What have they done about it? They prayed for me. They've also taken me through medication. But it's still there. Yes, please. Listen to me. It's not medical. They will give you terms, a big <laughs> name, trichocomania or something. They will give you some big name. Trichotillomania. That's what they told you, right? Quickly, run and come and see me on Friday. Yes, please. Otherwise, you are doomed. She has been chewing her hair for 18 years. <laughs>
I've got an instant healing from my um, waist to my um, knee. Wow. I I slipped. I slipped and fell down. I didn't know how it happened. And ever since my uh, around 6 p.m., my legs start hurting. I can't walk on it again. Today? You slept uh, today? Uh, no, that was last year. You slept last year, so it's a year now. Yes. Yes, please. And you could not walk I on never, your leg? Yes. And you're having pains where again? Pain from my waist to my knee. From your waist to your knee. And I, I just yes. mentioned that case, right? And you said instantly yes, I, God has healed you. Yeah, I feel a shift. You felt a shift? Yes, in my bone. And I can stand wow. properly and walk. Now you can stand properly and you can walk. Yeah, I'm not balancing. I used to stand and balance. You remember I said there's somebody who goes through balancing. You're not able to walk yes, well. Please. You are the one. Yes, please. And you said now you can walk. You're not balancing. Yeah, I'm standing on my feet now. You are standing on your feet right now. Yes, I can Take move a walk. leg. You can move your leg. I'm, yes. Nothing I'm is happening. Shaking you, are, you are shaking your leg. leg. Yes. Wow. 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 Come on, give God some praise right here. Give God some praise right here. Thank you, please. Are you excited about this miracle? I am really excited. You're excited. Are you crying? Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. For since last year. Yeah. Since last year. This is the power of God. I seal this miracle. It will never. Amen ever, ever happen again. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. I want to see you on Friday at War Zone, okay? Come to Friday on War okay. Zone. I want to lay my hands and seal it for you. It is settled. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, Amen. give God some Thank praise. You. Now, if you have a testimony and the line is not going through, just send it to us via voice note or better still by text. Right, we will read them. I know miracles have happened. You remember the last time we had enough time to take testimonies. We have mind-blowing testimonies. You cannot mention the name of Jesus and sickness will still stay there, buddy. She was balancing and God just healed her from that situation. Kadibahaya. For one solid year. One solid year, sorry. Listen, Friday, Friday, we are having our war zone. It's going to be fireworks. Go. No, it's not war zone. It's a program, right? Sorry. It's a program. Tomorrow we are there. Friday we are there. So it's our Easter convention. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. Tonight we are meeting. Friday we are meeting for our Easter convention. So the woman in Jolu, my, my dear, my dear in Jolu, come tonight. Come tonight. I want to see you tonight. I want to see you tonight. I want to see you tonight. As it's already 6 p.m. Let me see it for you. Don't come on Friday. Come tonight. Hello. All right. Now, wherever you are, put your hands on your head. Our time is up. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cover everybody with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. On the 19th of April, I will be in Canada. 19th of April, I will be in Canada for night of restoration at 10 p.m. on the dot. 9111 Kill Street, Concord, Ontario, right? L4K2 and 1. I'll be there. If you need any information, the numbers are right on the screen. Call a friend, call a brother there, tell them. Prophet Emmanuel J is coming on the 19th of April uh, at Kill Street at exactly 10 p.m. It's going to be powerful. If you want to meet me before the date, call the numbers right there. Now, right from there, I'll be in the UK on the 26th. 26th of April at the New Wine Church, sorry, Gateway House, John Wilson Street, SE 16, SE 18 says QQ, SE 18 says QQ at exactly 10 p.m. It's going to be powerful. God always remembers us when we have our own night in the UK. I'm coming with my white handkerchief as a gift and as a mantle to anyone who comes to the meeting. God will surely help us. God will surely help us. He's been with us all these years, and he will never disappoint us. My name is Prophet Emmanuel Ajay, and I want you to join in as we, we engage heaven over 
our lives. Now, tonight we are coming back. If you need any prayer, call the numbers right. Call our number 05, 0531 uh, 102233 uh, or better still 0271803000 or 0552522622. Call the numbers and we'll be praying with you. These are the official numbers. Now, if anybody contacts you to sow a seed or to go and sow it into an orphanage, it is not me. If you fall to that trap, they've taken your money. There is nothing I can do. If you ask me to pay it back, I will not pay. So please be very, very vigilant. People are parading themselves as prophet and manager, especially on TikTok, and sending people messages that giving them prophecies. I don't give prophecies on WhatsApp. No, sorry, on, on social media. I don't give prophecies. I will never start a conversation with you. I will not. All right? We are so busy to go on social media, sending people messages, and some of you get excited. I know, you love me. So you're excited to read my messages, but that is not a medium I will send you. If I want to talk to you, I will tell you to call me, and you call me on our official numbers. Apart from these numbers, we don't have any other numbers. Somebody was due with 5,000 euros, and for another person, $5,000. Precious one. We need money to do God's work. If you have money like this, give it to us. Let's use it for the work of God. Don't give it to frosters because there's no blessing in giving to frosters. Father, I bless your children. As we sow our seed tonight, may you continue to honor us and bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. Pick up your seed, sow right now before you go to sleep. Engage in the altar and heaven will smile on you. I love you so much. I will see you again tonight at 11 p.m. God bless you. Bye-bye. Who is Owusu? Please, uh, my dad is Owusu. Yeah. Where is your dad? Yes, he is outside. He is in Europe. He's in Europe. Yes, please. What is he doing in Europe? Um, he works in a factory. Listen, your father has missed his destiny. Your father is supposed to be a powerful politician. Your father is supposed to be a powerful <laughs> politician. Is true. My daughter was once a politician. Who? Mama Victor Owusu. She's my father's dad. Victor Owusu is your dad's father. So Victor Owusu is your grandfather. He's a politician, right? He, he was supposed to yes. hand the baton to your father. And your father missed it. Now, if you're not careful, you also miss it because your father is supposed to give it to you. That is why by divine means, God took you to lawyer, lawyer, girl, ladies or something, MPP, lawyer, ladies. Papa, by divine means, God Papa. took you there. You by lie. divine means, God took you to MPP, lawyer, ladies or something, something. Huh? Yes, Papa, come on, lawyer, ladies, I'm a commander of the... You're a commander there. Now, listen, yes, if you are not careful, the enemy will frustrate you to leave that group and go and sell materials, clothes. Papa, you should have produced fire. And yes, now, if you are not careful, you will miss that opportunity to you too, you too, you too. Papa is very curious, and I get well that I have followed and prepared and I'm not putting anything. So I'm giving up on politics to focus on work. You are giving up on politics to focus on what? On clothes. My yes, on my tie and dye. Tie and dye batik. Tie and die and yes. batik, right? You want to focus on yes. tie and die and batik and then and, and stylist yes. and designing and the Yes, I did fashion and prophet. because you think that it's 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 not paying off, right? Yes. My name is Prophet Emmanuel J. Don't yes. stop. Keep following. Keep following. You will have a break. Yes, 
Eh, eh, ah, ah. That 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 company, Birama, Birama Thai and Dai, Birama Thai 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 and Dai Batik. Yeah. Don't focus too much on that. You have one break in the MPP. Don't listen. You will be a powerful member of MPP. Eventually, you become a minister. You become a minister. Listen. Focus. Hallelujah. Focus. Focus. Very soon. Very soon. You meet. Uh, make a way. Find a way and meet uh, Ascenso. Make a way and meet Ascenso. Honorable Ascenso. If you're able to meet Honorable Ascenso through him, he will push you higher and you have a breakthrough. And that is how you become yes, an MP. Papa. When you become an MP, when you meet him, tell him that I gave a prophecy that you should come and see him because he's supposed to mentor you. He's supposed to mentor you. Just say it. He doesn't know me, yes, but he will listen to you because say the spirit of the living God. Stop that connection with him. He's one of our patrons. He's one of our patrons. Platform. It's one of your patrons you on a platform. Been, been on Wednesday, yes, we are going to his constituency to commission uh, So, so you are going there this Wednesday. Yes, please. Make sure you see him and tell him that Prophet Emmanuel J of Prayer Palace says by prophecy he must mentor you and help you. You become an MP. Yes, After you become an MP, you become a minister of state. You have to sit in the place of your dad. What your father could not do, say the spirit of the living God, you must take over because your grandfather had it and your father was supposed to have it. He lost it and is now in farms. His farms and becoming all those nasty yes, stuff. Yes, you, yes, you. Yes, Hear me carefully. Say the spirit of the living God. Focus. Focus. Don't give up yet. Focus. Don't give up yet. You are getting tired. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. I won't give up. I even told myself next year I'm not going to vote. I'm not doing anything. Listen. The way you suffered for MPP. 2020. 2020. They were going around. Making campaign. You were in Accra. I to to it's very true. Campaigning. I, I can even see when you were campaigning with that punk. With that punk. With, with two marks. Two marks on your left. Two marks on your left. Wearing MPP t shirt. With scarf. With scarf on your neck. With that what that two marks left. You were moving everywhere. Oh, a fear. Oh, a fear. A fear. <laughs> This live broadcast is made possible by members of the Prophetic Force and by viewers and listeners like you. Kindly consider joining the Prophetic Force today by sending your name and message saying, I want to be a PFM to our official WhatsApp numbers 0552-522-622 or 0271-803000 and our team will give you a call. Thank you for holding our hands as we take the gospel to the world. God richly bless you.